guys welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is angela so i've gotten a few requests to make this video now so i decided today was the day i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my makeup my makeup routine so before we begin into the video i figured i should just address the whole background situation here i just removed the two pink stuffed animals because i feel like they were a little distracting but yeah i know that the led lights are supposed to go that way and stuff I don't have enough to cover my entire room for that, so just ignore that. So basically how I do my makeup on a daily basis, it's pretty natural and it's really basic and simple and easy. So I think you guys can replicate it pretty easily if you just know how to like use basic makeup items. And even if you don't, I will show you how. So my makeup routine is more like Asian, East Asian makeup inspired, like K-beauty and stuff, because I feel like that sort of makeup more just enhances your um the features that all the, the features that your features that you already have and like brings color into your face while american makeup sort of it's just it holds more like coverage and it's just heavier in general so yeah let's just get right into it so first off um you, you guys will notice these bangs that have been kind of covering my eyes while i talk these bangs I only got like a month ago um, and they're kind of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. They just, sometimes they, sometimes they cooperate and sometimes they, oh God. Sometimes they cooperate and sometimes they don't and I think I just messed them up. So the first thing to say is that I don't usually use, well, I don't know why I said usually, I never use foundation. I just don't really wanna cover my entire face with makeup. So I basically, for like base foundation, um, I use conditioner, I mean, oh my God. <coughs> concealer, concealer. So I have this one, it's double wear, stay in place, flawless wear conditioner, I mean, Concealer. I will link it down below. I'm pretty sure it's from Estee Lauder. And then I put some around my nose, hide the redness. And that's basically it. I have a little red blemish right here. So I guess I'll try and cover that. Um, and I have like a weird dark spot on the side of my face so I can try and hide that too but it never really goes away <laughs> so this is what it looks like now got a little of my hair soak it in and then I have this beauty blender We probably have some beginners to make up here because it's kind of like a beginner tutorial. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a few things about um, starting to wear makeup and I'm also gonna put my hair back because it's kind of getting in the way. I didn't wanna put it back before because I feel like I look, I'm gonna look so weird, but um, it's for, the end product will look better like this. The thing about doing makeup and starting to learn how to do your own makeup is that makeup should not make you feel beautiful. It should just make you, it should elevate kind of your confidence. It should elevate your confidence and enhance the beauty that's already there. I'm not talking about what like, a, like appearance wise, like visibly makeup should do for you. I mean like mentally, I don't care if you look completely different before and after makeup, but um, you should feel beautiful without it as well. So I'm editing now and I realized I did a really bad job of explaining it and I'm gonna put this really strong filter on because I don't want you guys to see my um, makeup end product before you get to the end of the video. So what I meant to say is that if you don't already feel beautiful without makeup, you really shouldn't start to learn it because then you're gonna start using makeup as a crutch for your like to find your self-worth and you will feel so like ugly and just terrible when you don't have makeup on you don't want makeup to be so essential to your life that you like truly just feel like trash without it next we're going to take a little bit of this color mates rose beige pressed powder and just kind of put it over where i put concealer on sorry it's like not blended perfectly guys I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. brush and pat 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 on the powder 
and just like put it over the places where I put concealer so that it kind of like, I don't know, like sets in. Is that what the beauty guru say? <laughs> I don't know. But if you want your makeup to look a little bit glowy and like fresh, then definitely don't layer on the powder because it'll make you look a little cakey and um, what's the word, matte. So here's the deal with blush. Some days I do like a rosy, a rosier look and some days I do a more like coral look. Um, for a rosier day, I'd go with something like this. Or I have like this palette from Clinique. Um, some of you guys may have seen it in my what I got for Christmas video. So today I think I'm going to stick to like a coral look and then if this video does well, I might do another one. <laughs> But it takes me forever to film makeup videos. I have no idea why. I think it's just because I keep blabbing um, because usually when I do my makeup, it takes like five minutes. So today we're gonna use this Turquoise Clinic palette. It's called uh, Limited Edition Eye and Cheek Palette. That's all it says. I'll try and find it online and link it below. We're gonna use this, oh God. We're gonna use this color for the blush. It's like a, it looks, pinker in real life, but yeah. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, yes, I'm drinking from a, a, a uh, 1.6 quart orange juice with mango bottle. Life Hacks 101 with Angela. Okay, let's do my, let's do my eyebrows next. So I'm just going to straight out say that I suck at doing eyebrows, um, so please don't judge this entire routine off of my eyebrows because I literally have no idea how to do eyebrows. I don't own an eyebrow pencil, I don't do anything to them, this is my natural brow, I know it looks so weird, it's like, it's really weird, like it's not straight but it's not like angled, it has this weird like, like, arc shape. I'm sorry if you hear a little background noise. My family's downstairs making a lot of noise. Well, oh, I have this e.l.f. palette um, that I got like such a long time ago for like three bucks. It has all these colors. It's like a smoky eye palette. It's supposed to teach you how to do a smoky eye, but I never do smoky eyes. I've never even attempted. And then I have this little thing. I have no idea where it's from. It's just... And then I just take this side and dip it into the black. And then I just... I just fill my eyebrows in a little bit. If you guys have any like eyebrow products to recommend in the comments or any like tips please do oh god i've already been filming for 20 minutes i'm gonna have to cut so much okay next we're gonna do eyeshadow i have ellen tracy golden metallic in matte eyeshadow palette inside looks like this so i've actually found that it's easier to start off with your fingers i use my ring finger just because i have no idea why um, and we're gonna use, we're gonna use this color right here, the finger, and then we're gonna dab, dab, dab onto the eyelid. As you can see, it's just like a little bit of a difference. I'm just gonna put a little bit there and see what happens. It's this color right here. I've done this once before, but it didn't really make a difference, so I didn't really do it again. I'm just gonna put it like right here. Okay, and now I have this little brush and I'm going to use it to try and blend it out a little better because I can't blend it out super good with my finger. Okay, next up, we're gonna use this brush and take some of this same color right here and we're gonna put it under our eye, just like right there. And then I have this sparkly color right here. I'm gonna take that with a finger, dab, 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 and I'm going to put it in like the center of my eyelid because apparently everyone does that. And finally for the eye portion, I have the Profusion Highlight and Contour, um, six color highlighter and contour palette. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to take this pinky color, it's called Heartfelt, and I'm gonna take a little bit. And I'm just gonna like put it right here, like where the eyeshadow is not there. And then we're gonna take Heartfelt again. We're going to take a little bit, put it on the nose. And a little bit along the nose bridge as well to make the nose look like 
I don't know, smaller and pointier. But I'm not gonna like do any contour business with my face or with my nose because um, I don't wanna make myself look ashy. And I feel like contour sometimes does that. And then I'm gonna take the heart felt again and I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheekbones. And then sometimes I'll take a little brush and put a little above my lip as well. My Cupid's bow. This iPhone camera isn't really doing the best job um, capturing everything. Next, take your eyelash curler and curl those eyelashes even though it literally does nothing because your eyelashes fall in like 10 seconds. So here are the two mascaras that I'm using right now. Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. This, so the problem with this wand is that this eyelash, or this mascara is like really large. So it's so easy to get mascara on other parts of my face when I'm trying to do it. But we're gonna just apply this on the top of my lashes. On my top, on, on my top lashes. So if you're like me and your eyelashes are shorter than a goldfish's memory span, um, you just gotta be humble and admit that literally the only reason you're doing mascara is so that the ends can be slightly visible and your lash line will look darker. I can never make my lashes look all like... You know what I mean? Then I have this Baby Clinic Impact, High Impact Mascara and um, we're gonna use the small one on the bottom lashes just because the big one I always get mascara on my nose. Sorry for these mascara applying faces. I know they're like not cute. Like I said, don't really have eyelashes. So that's as much as it's gonna do. So this is, this side has mascara, this side doesn't. Here is the difference. And do the same thing for the other eye. Here's another comparison with mascara without mascara. Okay, and last, last but not least, we're going to do our lips a little. I have this Romand, Romand, um, lip tint and this is number five rose splash i got it on yes style i actually did an entire review video on it you can go check it out if you want and also i heard that this one is actually in true oh my god in true beauty if you don't know what that is it's a k-drama that recently came out um it's based off of a webtoon that's really popular so this is the color it's a little vibrant honestly but this is kind of the only lip tint I have, so this will have to do for today's look. I'm really sorry about the lip tint not really matching. I don't really have like a coral lip tint. This is all I got. Okay, and that is all for the makeup. Moment of truth, let's, moment of truth, let's take out the bangs and see how it. Okay, so it's looking like it's working out a little today, but you can see the hairs just aren't really filling like that part of my forehead. Let's just take out the rest of my hair. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna get today. But that is it ladies this is all for my makeup routine i think the end result looks pretty good today some days it looks weird and i do my makeup the same every single day uh but you know some days my makeup just decides not to cooperate so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a few things a little something and i will see you guys next week like and subscribe i post every sunday instead of saturdays now because i have found that it's just better to have friday and saturday for me to like film and edit and everything thank you for watching like and subscribe i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>